I'm Hiroto Maeda. I am a second year student in high school. This is 240 yen. She's Karen Mizuki, a clerk in a convenience store where I often buy something. As she looks, she is a gal and cute. Oh, you're so sweet. Please give me your smile. We don't have such a service. Uh, okay. She's always cold to everyone and looks lazy to do customer service. Especially those who hit on her. What time are you going to finish your work? Why don't we have some drinks after that? No, thank you. Please go away. You're disturbing my work now. She gets them away from her like this. Next customer. Here. Oh, Hiroto! You came here! What? what? All customers were startled since she looked so glad to see me when I appeared. I came here to buy it. Do you want my smile? I'm good. Mm, why not? I thought you didn't serve such a service. You're my special customer. Sweet! Aren't you too different in treating your customer from my case? Of course, cause I like you. You knew it, didn't you? Yes, she confessed to me previously. I... I'm Karen Mizuki. I like you. Please date me. I declined it since we weren't close enough to date and familiar with each other. And now, this is what it is. Anyway, I'm going, Mizuki. Huh? Call me Karen. <sighs> Karen. Okay, go ahead. Cute. One day, when I was heading to the convenience store, I found her lying down on the street. Are you okay? What happened? Uh, I'm okay. I just felt dizzy and... No, you're not okay. Wait here. Later, I brought her to a hospital. As a result of the diagnosis, it was from the excess of her fatigue and wasn't related to danger to her life. That's why I told you that I was good. Too attentive. That's inevitable. You fainted. Think of me having found a person lying on the street. Were you worried about me? For sure. You're my acquaintance. I'm so blessed by your worries. It could be good to faint again. What are you freaking saying? <laughs> You're so gentle. You saved me even though I'm just a convenience store clerk you sometimes met. If there is someone struggling, I'll save the people. This is my will. You are like a hero and cool. Am I? Are there any reasons why you became like that? Well, my parents are both police. And I yearn for them and want to be a policeman too. That's why you saved me at that time. When? Hmm. Okay, it's about time to go back. No way. You shouldn't push yourself. Here, right on my back. Huh? What? Uh, huh? Wait, why? I can't let you go since you've already fainted from fatigue once. But it's so embarrassing I've been given a piggyback at this age. I can walk by myself. Don't be hesitant. You feel difficult to walk, don't you? Come on. Whoa, I like you. I like your forceful part. What are you saying? Don't you feel heavy? No, you're not heavy. <laughs> I'll give a strong hug to you. Which way? Huh? No reactions? Anyway, you can go straight. Got it. But why did you work hard until you fainted? Huh? Do you ask me about it? If you mind it, it will be fine. I don't mind it. Well, can you listen to me? Sure. So kind. I like that part of you. Go ahead. It's not that special. My family is poor. My dad passed away earlier and my mom needed to raise two other sisters and me alone. So, she's always super busy. So, is it for your mom? It's rather for my family. 
I am way older than my other sisters. Once I saw my innocent sisters, I realized I should take care of them. You're so mature. <laughs> I've got a compliment. But I can't give a compliment to your overwork which made you faint. I can't talk back to you. Anyway, take some rest, okay? Your mom will be worried about you too when she hears you fainted. What? I couldn't see you if I quit the job. I continued to work there to see you. Then I won't go to the convenience store. Then I'll work in the convenience store where you go shopping next. You're a stalker now. I brought her to her home anyway. A few days later, when I go to a convenience store... You're so cute! Are you a high school student? How about having some food after work? Get away. Oh, yes. She's working there and as cool to those customers as usual. How is your condition going? Oh, Hiroto! Yes, it's alright. Oh, you look good. Though you behaved rudely to the customer. Cause you're Hiroto. I'm picky. But do you want me to treat you as such a customer? No, I didn't mean that. But I'm curious about it. Well, can you actually deal with me as you do the bad customers? Can you check out and disappear as soon as possible since you disturb me? Damn. Huh? Are you alright? I'm relieved that she's kind to me. If she treated me like the one to others, I could be terrified and couldn't come to the convenience store. I'm glad to see you getting better. Well, I'll finish work soon. If you don't mind, can you give me your time? For what? You saved me before, so I'd like to show my gratitude. It's alright though. No, I'm not good without doing that. Wait here! 30 minutes after that, she came here. I'm sorry for being late. My work was extended. No worries. It wasn't too long. Was it? It's like the conversation and dating, by the way. My vibes are up now. Then what's your plan? Huh? No reactions. Why don't we have dinner at my house? My mom wanted to say thank you to you. Though I don't mind. Is it okay? No problem. Then I'm down. I don't think she will compromise. In this way, I'm supposed to go to her place. You're Hiroto, right? Thank you for saving my daughter. Karen's mom is overwhelmingly young. I thought she was her sister at first. Karen brought her boyfriend here. Her boyfriend? Calm down. Greet him first. Sorry about that. They're so energetic. This is Eika, and this is Aaron. Hey, greet him. Uh-huh. He isn't such a handsome guy. Karen, what do you like about him? Jesus, how rude you guys are. Sit down here. Yeah! Hey, wait! I like this lively atmosphere. When I see her scold them, she's like, Karen, you look like a mom. Huh? Did you say you want me to be your wife? No, I didn't. <laughs> you guys look fun. Karen is in charge of cooking in her family. <laughs> I'm good at cooking. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll make you attracted to me with my food. Oh, are you going to cook them? You don't often do it as you're lazy, though. Okay. Hold on, Mom! Don't bother me! She's talented, so she can master anything quickly. But she gets bored with them soon, too. That's why she only sometimes cooks. I heard her role is cooking here. Mm. Don't lie to him, Karen. You only sleep the whole day when you don't have work. You should change your habit. Otherwise, you couldn't have a boyfriend. Duh! Don't say that in front of him! Whoa! I thought she was a really hard worker everywhere, so that's unexpected. But once thinking about her work, she looked tired and lazy to do something. However, she tried to work hard to the extent that she was worn out. She's so considerate of her family. 
Am I supposed to go home after having food and playing with her sisters? Boo! Don't go home! I want to play with you. They're holding me. Though you said that. Oh, stay overnight here. Why not? Well... If you don't mind, can you stay overnight for them today? I don't mind it, though. Don't you mind? Yeah. I think they won't stop crying out unless you say yes. Okay, I'll stay here. Are you sure? Yay! I can play with them longer! Sweeties, don't bother him, though. Oh! I'll tell you about a good place. Where is it? Come on! One's turning off the light! Ah! Help me! It's dark! <laughs> Karen became scared of the darkness and she was stuck in a closet by her mom. Ah! It's so scary! Huh? You too? I also made my parents mad at me. And they got me into a closet once in the past. Since then, I've been terrified of the darkness. Every parent does the same thing. Darkness, darkness is, is the, the scariest. scariest! Later, I had an accident in which I saw naked sisters running from the bathroom and Karen chasing them while naked. After that, we went to sleep. <sighs> I can't sleep. Huh? What's wrong? Can't you sleep? You too? Yep. I can think about my crush sleeping next to me. <laughs> this is my first time sleeping on a floor with other people. I couldn't get used to it. I'm sorry about my naughty sisters. Don't be sorry. I decided to stay here. In terms of that, why did you accept it? I was glad that you said you would stay here. <sighs> Normally, people decline it. We're not that close, right? Because I'm interested in you. Huh? Really? The more I knew about you, the more interested in you I got. I was also glad that you, a cute girl, said you liked me. Uh, I see. My effort wasn't useless. But I have a thing that I couldn't understand. Why did you confess to me? I'm not such a cool guy. Uh... Do you care about what my sister said to you? You're so sweet. I'll sleep. Sorry, sorry. Well, do you remember it? When I started working there one year ago, an old guy hit on me. Oh, I remember that. It was really unpleasant to listen to his words, so I remember it. He stared at me and asked me if I had a boyfriend. What's more, he asked me about my place three sizes and going somewhere with them. He eventually touched my body and you saved me. I see. I'm sorry. I was too unpleasant about that pervert to think about you at that time. I knew it. I figured out that you didn't remember me. I crashed on you at the moment. I didn't know that. Since then, I've hated some flirty guys. That's why she was so offensive to those guys. Hiroto... I like you. Ka Karen, we both get our faces close to each other. We're looking. Huh? Oh, kiss, go ahead. Kiss, kiss. Guys, don't disturb their love. What? By any chance, did they look at us all the time? <laughs> Karen, don't leave me alone in this situation. Then, I stay alone in an awkward situation. A few days later, I confessed to her, and we started our relationship. Look, bro! Huh? What? We're pretending to be you and Karen! Hiroto, I love you! Karen! <sighs> you guys! I won't forgive you! <laughs> the Mizuki family is peaceful too, today.